Greetings from Night to Finder. I'm at this new site. I have a lot of a lot of hope for this place. Uh, first signal that I'm digging. 1959 Elizabeth. Good sign. Okay, I'll see you on the next. Might not film as much because I, I just really want to hurry up and there's a lot of people around so uh, I don't want it to draw too much attention anyway I'll see you on the next good target all right a lot of garbage here but uh, looks like I got myself a little toy toy car I think pieces are missing I'm gonna clean it up here, but uh, it looks uh, at least 60s, 50s, if not older. Well, okay, at least 70s, probably. All right, I'll wash it out, put it on the wrapper. See you on the next. Cool. All right, that sounded nice, but it's uh, nothing special. There, I have to watch out for that. It looks appears like a, an early uh, sprinkler system that they had installed here. I'm thinking. All right, see you on the next. All right, I switched side. I went to this more uh, peaceful park and uh, got this uh, signal. It appears to be part of harmonica, I think. I never dug one of those, but uh, I think I've seen other people dig pieces like that. I'll poke around the hall and see what else is there. All right, it's officially a car day today. My second one. Okay, about similar shape. What is this, Corvette? Or DeLorean? Well, I guess I'll clean it up, then I'll know again. Doesn't appear to be in terrible shape as well. All right, I'll take that. See you on the next. All right, I've been bumming around at this park. Not really a lot of good signals here. But something tell, told me that uh, maybe nobody really was di digging it. I found this little, maybe handle from a bar top or something like this heavy heavy brass piece uh, that was fairly deep uh, well at least four to five inches someone should have dug that thing if they were here uh, so I'm here by the tree I just found a penny on the surface there's this let's look at this that looks interesting it's on the surface Okay. Probably not silver. Okay. That is that looks like a damn Chinese coin again. That is interesting. Oh yeah. So I'm getting a second Chinese coin. This one's a little bigger right on the surface uh, might stay here for a little bit longer because uh, this doesn't look bad right now anymore maybe there is silver there somewhere all right I'll see you on the next all right continuing on with the same hand uh, found the uh, 50s weedy now I got this uh, shallow signal, didn't look like much, 
but uh, some odd oh and the rabbit awful much it says uh, shake well before this end up before use Huh. Interesting. I'll wash it out. We'll see what the, what it is. Uh, looks like 50, 60 stuff. See you on the next. Uh, hi guys. Um, out for a couple hours. I had the spare window in my schedule. Uh, so uh, I got this. Uh, other copy signal but uh, Tunis two dollar Canadian two dollar coins usually come up a little bit more steady you know it was uh, like going 80 to 86 two inches down that's uh, the reason I decided to dig it out I'm gonna check this area a little bit more watch out for the pool over there just a little spot in a park with uh, what appears to be an older wall there might have been parties over here or some kind of events so uh, I'll look just a touch more before I move on see you on the next all right this spot is starting to look interesting Except that I have to watch out for a pool. One to the left, one to the right. I dug this hole. Um, a bit erratic signal, but uh, was stopping a lot on the silver range. There it is. Let me turn it off. The edge definitely looks silver. Well, I should say. Shouldn't say definitely. Let's see. That was uh, all right. About four and a half inches down. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. It's an Elizabeth scratch on it but I don't think I scratched that must have been there from before all right I'll keep uh, pounding that area which year is this 1961 so nine to find her back on track again after yesterday number 39 for the year see you on the next not too far from a, a 61 dime and the two dollars. Our guys were here. Budweiser lighter. Sounded a little bit silverish. I get to poke around if there's anything else in there. All right. See you on the next. All right, back after half a minute. After the lighter, I hit this signal. Uh, showed 73, but it was uh, very similar to the dime jumping uh, in the silver range. Um, let's hope it is. Um, it was about four to six, no, it's actually showing six to eight inches down. Uh, I can, I'm gonna do a, a live dig for this one. Let's hope it is something nice. Pin points like a coin. Okay, let's be gentle with the one-handed digging. Okay. Okay, no, oh, good sign. 
I recognize that guy. His name is George. His number is six. Okay. I was gonna end the year. Oh, I scratched him. Not too much, but I did it. It's a 51. So this might be nice area from the 50s that was possibly untouched. I was near, before I coming here, I hit around a couple decent age trees, uh, well, about 100 yards from here. Got uh, mo only modern pennies at depth, uh, uh, four to five inches, so uh, I bonded that, that place, that spot. But this, uh, this looks a little bit better. Okay, we'll keep, uh, keep on digging. See you on the next. All right, not much, uh, not much more so far. Uh, I got a little spill of uh, modern coins with 68 dime. I got this penny-like signal. It's me what that is, some kind of cap top of something. Looks cool. I'll see on the next. Seems like uh, there's modern pennies around here at the depth, so I'm not going to be digging around much. Maybe except a few spots, so I'll keep moving along. I have not found a gold colored coin in a while. But here is a surface one. Pretty fresh. Breaks my clad total to three and change. Nice. I'll see you on the next. All right, that's the reason I go back to a place that produces and go over it. I might have dismissed it as a bottle, bottle cap before. Now there is a lot of interference, but uh, right now I'm digging everything. And I got a quarter, because quarters sometimes get uh, a little bottle copy. It's got to be silver. Oh yeah, it's not the oldest, but it's a uh, decent George the Six. Let's get the year of this. I can't see the year. I don't want to rub it anymore. I'll show it on the wrap up. See you on the next. Not that much since I got that uh, George Six quarter. I got this super faint signal. Uh, must have been on edge. It does look like silver. Is this a quarter? Oh no. Ah, I got fooled. That's the reason it was faint. It's a damn pull top. All right. See you on the next. All right. This took a while. Check out the damn hole. Oh, okay. Way out there in the abyss. 10 inches down but it sounded good I was hoping for a coin but big piece of copper very rusty rusty nice big green what it is I have no idea maybe it used to be a looking glass well, we'll figure it out, I guess, or not. See you on the next. Okay, I'm out with my daughter in the park, and uh, this is one of my first ones. 
another first all bent up. I think it might be silver. My wife always wanted me to find one of these. Okay. I'm gonna clean it up and straighten it up and uh, we'll see. Might be silver. See you on the next. Alright, let's, let's start the wrap up here. Two days uh, of hunting. First day, mostly recon work. Again, trying to find some new decent spot went to this uh, really old looking uh, it's not even a park it's like a spot that's gonna be redeveloped uh, but there was a lot of infill and uh, there wasn't really much much there I think I find 160s penny and uh, I found uh, that uh, I'm not going to move it because it's falling apart, but uh, we'll take a shot from the side. England, British Matchbox uh, car from 1966, uh, Lotus racing car, pretty cool. It was a day for an orange car because uh, I got another orange car uh, at another park I also got that uh, piece of a uh, wagon uh, at uh, another park so uh, it was a big time for cars um, Talking about uh, other interesting uh, non-coin finds uh, and cars. Got that key, I didn't notice, but uh, it does say Ford on it. Probably 50s or 60s from the looks of it. I got the, my first harmonica read. Uh, my first, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, thimble. I have to remember, rhymes with nimble. Um, this uh, looks like a, looks pretty heavy. Maybe it's uh, like a fancy top for a liquor bottle. Got uh, three pieces, uh, two triggers from uh, a toy gun and another piece from a toy gun. I think uh, I think I got another trigger at the same side. Someone's been demolishing their toy guns there. Um, this little handle I got uh, that park that I want to check out in the east end of uh, downtown didn't really pan out that much I think this is from there this harmonica this uh, I thought it was an older thing but uh, just uh, salbutamol or ventolin uh, nebulizer cartridge um, what else yeah the car was from there um, uh, okay so uh, yeah I got this little tiny little bottom look good but it looks like from some modern Italian jeans with some Latin 
inscription on it. Nostra. Oops. Where is that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I got quite a bit of trailer trash. I figured that that would be appropriate. I might leave it for my future videos. Uh, just a portion of trailer license plate. A little lead, a little copper. Whole bunch of keys. I've been digging those low to lower tones a little bit more, hoping for the early penny. This uh, green thing beats me what, what that possibly could be. Um, so the, the coins, a few memorials on the way, oh well, that's what you have to dig up sometimes to assess the parks and uh, hoping not to miss uh, something decent, some places uh, all their coins are shallow too, so uh, depends on the park and make my assessment where the, to dig uh, shallow pennies or penny signals or not. I usually tend to just dig them because I'm just too damn curious. Anyway, uh, oh, this thing. You saw that on the me digging it out. This was like nine inches down. And that was just a portion of it sticking up. The rest was down more. I really I'm really curious to what it is. It's been sitting in the ground obviously for a really long time. No idea. It's like a thinner spot here. Yeah, maybe it uh, was more round, it was bent. Maybe it's like a handle. I have no idea. But it looks interesting. So, uh, like I said, the first uh, uh, day I did not get anything special uh, mostly trying to figure out parks I got that uh, Chinese coin though by the 200 year old tree was just sitting there probably the recent drop or just washed out from from the dirt uh, That could be a better coin than the first one. I'm yet to check it out exactly what that is. Uh, maybe maybe it's a little bit more valuable. Um, so I got a couple of Wheaties, 52 and 42. I uh, got four Georgies, 42, 50 couple 50s and 51 some early 60s and 50s uh, Elizabeth's 53 the first year um, a little bit of clad a couple of 68s I don't seem to be getting the silver 68s uh, all right and uh, Oh, I get this. Uh, I didn't see it until I washed things out. It says play money. Token has maple leaf on the back. Uh, origin. At this point, I know maybe somebody knows where that came from. And uh, I plugged out. Uh, uh, couple of silver coins on the second day that was one from the new spot in the, in the, in the uh, park that I've already been to uh, check the spot nothing really much there was one 
one George Penny there, I believe, and uh, went to the spot that I got uh, all their coins in the same park, and uh, wiggle out the Georgie out of the ground. I went over the the area. Might go there again, maybe one more time sometime in the future, but I really doubt there's anything more there. I cleaned it up pretty well. Um, Alright, so that's probably it for the wrap-up. I'm not getting out till next week. Hopefully there will be a little bit more lack and have a few spots to check out as usual uh, so hopefully one of them pays pays off so until the next time happy hunting good luck take care